20 grand on me, Ariana And none of these bitches ain't taking shit, I promise Put that on my mama, pull up on her, got her sweating like sauna he Hi everyone, it might be a little bit hard to hear me So I'm trying to be like as quiet as possible Because it's really early in the morning It's 6.30 a.m. So the reason I am up this early on a Friday Which usually I don't work Fridays so um probably be sleeping is because I had to take my girlfriend to work and I just had the bright idea that I would vlog my day because I'm gonna be a little bit busy today and I have to get some stuff done so I thought why not take you guys along with me um because I'm trying to be more active and more of a youtuber if you know what I mean so I hope you guys enjoy this video basically all I've been doing this morning was I took my girlfriend to work and um I just dropped her off literally like just went and came back and then um, a little candle and I've just been picking up my room a little bit I'm still not done so I'll go over that a little bit with you guys um, it has been really cold outside at, at night time lately and like starting to get cold during the day and I've had so many spiders in my room lately um, so I need to figure out like what the fuck is going on I'm pretty sure my window screen is like cracked open or something and maybe that's how they're getting in but the spiders aren't just like daddy long legs like they're fucking like thick ass spiders i have a mess on my dresser which is right behind this camera but it's because i'm planning on filming a video with what's on it so i don't necessarily want to clean it but i'm gonna organize it a little bit what i've done so far is i just took a lot of the dishes that i had in my room out because me and my girlfriend like to eat in the room and like if we eat something at nighttime and like or drink something at nighttime um we have to like leave it on the table right there it's like my little nightstand or whatever i took some of those out everybody in my house is still asleep so i don't want to be too loud i just finished um one candle i decided to put on another candle that i've had for a while i haven't bought any new candles for like a really long time so this is an old one i had but i used to buy my candles from Open body works all the time because i love their scents but i haven't been lately because i heard they're not cruelty free i hope you guys support the cruelty free brands down here even walmart has good candles but the one that i um previously bought is the rose water and lily and I have a little Buddha right there. I gave him a piece of chocolate a little while ago. But um, this is the candle. And then I have my Himalayan um, lamp there. My mom broke the light, so I just use it as like decor basically. And then I have my crystals right there. Um, this is for incense and then I use that as my oil diffuser and it also has a light on it so that's pretty cool anyways I'm gonna get started with cleaning so the first thing I'm gonna do is fix the window I'm gonna wipe down like my counters and my mirrors and then I'm gonna organize the situation right there and um, I also have to change my bed sheets because they're like needing a wash at this point I forgot before I started talking to the camera, I was going to put on a movie. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to put on a movie for me to watch in the background. I always have to have something going on in the background. I don't know why. It just makes me feel really comfortable. Like, I just like the noise, I guess. It doesn't even have to be too loud. I can even just be like seeing that the light is on on the TV. And that's comforting to me. So I am going to choose a movie. I'm looking for a Halloween one. So let's see. I watched Halloween Town one last night, but I ended up falling asleep. So ooh, I love Home Alone, and I just seen the movie pop up. Oh, dang! I love Christmas movies. It's hard for me to not click on it because we're trying to get in the Halloween spirit. Okay. Have you guys watched Matilda? Oh my god, I loved Matilda. Is that considered Halloween? I don't know, but it's right, it's like on my screen and I'm like tempted to fucking click on it. Fuck it, we'll do Matilda. Okay, we'll watch Matilda for right now. So I will be watching in the background. 
um, while I am cleaned. I hope I don't fucking run into a spider. That would be horrible. I'm gonna switch you guys up on my dresser. It's a mess. So that y'all can see me clean my shit. Fix my hair. My hair's so fixed. I'm gonna go fix that. So you guys will just clean my room. And then I'll talk to you guys when I'm done. Okay guys, so it is a little bit brighter outside right now. Um, I've still been cleaning. I've just been like <laughs> doing random shit. I just made my bed. I had to switch the sheets. So um, clean sheets are always the best, okay? And I'm doing laundry right now. I threw some laundry in last night and then um, I still have like two loads to wash. And then there's some in the dryer and in the wash already. So I have like two loads after the one that's already washing. Because I have to wash my blankets. I am just going to put away the clothes that I just folded. Um, that were in the dryer from last night. So that is what I'll be doing right now. So let's get started. Exciting stuff guys. Exciting stuff. I'm basically, oh shit, I look fucked up, but um, I basically, flint, blah, 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 blah. so I basically just finished cleaning, um, I'm going to sweep and then I'll be done, um, as you can see I organized what's behind me, um, for the most part at least, because I'm going to do a video on that, before I finish sweeping, um, I wanted to show you guys some things that I bought at walmart the other day um because they're just some essentials so the first is deodorant if you guys don't know deodorant like regular deodorant is not really the best for you at least the ones that contain aluminum just for me personally regular deodorant wears off me very quickly it doesn't control my smell very like for a very long time i end up smelling kind of like bad as it wears off so i started to look into natural deodorants just because i'm into that natural vibe but one um deodorant that i really like and that i put hell of people onto at this point the schmitz natural deodorant this one is the lavender and sage one um i also get the um why isn't it focusing i also get the um rose and vanilla i think it is it looks just like this but it's pink i've tried the charcoal and magnesium i think it is and the lime and brigo the sage and um there's another one cedarwood i think it's called so i've tried a lot of them and all of them have worked very well on me they control your scent all day probably into the next day like you just put this on in the morning and you're good i feel like other than like masking the odor it like controls it and like soaks all like the nasty stuff up that's in your armpit i highly recommend this deodorant if you guys aren't into natural scents then you could look for one that like has more of a regular scent like i know that like a lot of people like like coconut or vanilla and stuff like that but these ones are like essential oil based so if you're not into that um maybe go for the lime one i think that one might be the closest as to like regular scented deodorants they also have a sensitive skin formula which is also really good this one can irritate um like your skin because it is a little bit drying if you use it too much because um like i said it's soaking whatever is there up like it's not gonna let you smell so they do have a one for sensitive skin i believe it's a dollar more the prices range on this deodorant from like five ish dollars to like nine dollars at some fucking stores i don't know why it has such a large range but this deodorant is lit all right y'all so i fixed my camera i'm hoping you guys can see me way better you guys are actually on my bed right now because um i wanted to get some of that natural lighting the second thing i wanted to talk about was lotion i put lotion on every time i get out of the shower i can't go a day without it 
if I'm like traveling and I don't have lotion, I'll have like a minor panic attack because my skin gets so dry and rough and disgusting without lotion. So one right here, it's um, lavender scented, just like my deodorant. It smells hella good. If you guys love the smell of lavender, like it just smells like exactly like the lavender essential oil. And I also love like that they're coming out with so much more natural stuff. It's better for the environment, it's better for your body. It's just like healthier overall. Now I will be talking about what I've been using for my hair. My hair is not wet right now, so it looks really fucked up. When I get out of the shower, I put curl cream in it. You gotta control the frizz and whatnot. What I use is the Cantu curl cream, and I just restocked on it. I just wanted to show you guys those three items really quickly before I end up putting them away. Just recommend some products to you guys, why not? Now I'm gonna sweep, and then I'm gonna hop in the shower. Okay guys, I'm out of the shower. I'm still on my phone because my camera battery is still not like fully charged and I would just want to finish charging it all the way and I'm just getting um, semi-dressed. I'm not going to get fully dressed. I'm still in pajamas because I have a little bit of homework to do before I run a few more errands and um, I like to be comfortable when I'm home so I always wear pajamas at home but um, I'm just going to put on some deodorant and um, face lotion after. Gotta get a clean, even swipe. Ooh. Gotta cover the whole perimeter and inner area of your armpit. I'm sure you guys have seen this on my channel before if you've watched my other videos. Um, it's the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. This is so good. If you guys are looking for something that's good for eczema, doesn't burn your skin, if you have acne problems, um, that like your skin's like hella sensitive and it just like anything you put on it, it fucking burns. This lotion, out of any lotion I've ever tried, burns the least. Vaseline's also really good and shea butter. Vaseline and shea butter actually don't burn at all. So if you're looking for like something that's not gonna burn in the slightest bit, then use Vaseline or shea butter. But this works so good. It leaves your skin so moisturized. It's like so smoothing too, like the formula. I feel like it just like smooths out your skin. It's kind of like a primer in a sense. You need a little bit. This will last you a really long time. It's about like 12 to $15 at like Walmart or Target. It's more expensive at Target, but um, I would definitely get this if you guys are looking for a good face moisturizer. So now I'm gonna show you guys the vitamins that I take every day, um, unless I forget, but I usually take them every day. I take a lysine vitamin and I take calcium, magnesium, and zinc vitamin. I just take one of each every day. These ones specifically are good for your immune system and I get sick very easily. Um, so I take these vitamins as a boost um, so that I don't get sick because I'll get sick if I'm like stressed out, if I'm like not sleeping enough, if I'm not eating right. Like obviously those things play into you getting sick but I feel like I get sick faster than other people would. I've done some research and these vitamins are very good for acne. For when I had really bad acne I was looking into vitamins that like will help your skin and these ones because they boost your immune system and you know your immune system plays a really important role in fighting infections and like just like anything to heal your body these vitamins help like your immune system even fight acne if you guys have acne or you need something that's gonna like boost your immune system that you can take every day i would strongly recommend these two vitamins they are so worth um, how much ever they are. They're not even that expensive, but 
they have just helped me so many times even when I like start to feel sick and I'm like oh shit I haven't taken my vitamins in a in a few days you know because sometimes I'll forget I'll be like let me go take my vitamins I'll usually take like two of these and one of these whenever I'm feeling sick in a few hours I just go to sleep and I'll wake up again I'll feel so much better like it saved me from feeling sick so many times so I strongly recommend these two vitamins I am ready the only thing I need to do later like before I go out is um get dressed and possibly do my makeup if I feel like it I don't know if I really feel like it right now I don't but maybe later I will I'm just gonna do some homework that I had to finish this is the last thing that I have to do and then I'll be done with homework for the weekend I always try to get my homework out of the way so that I can have the weekends to myself to like recover it's really hard to have free time when you have so much homework and with school being online I feel like the teachers don't understand that like the workload is extra because we have to teach ourselves everything I also think that it's stupid how tuition is the same price as it would be if we were on campus because like we're not getting the full college experience we're not paying for anything that we would be getting on campus so why are we being charged the same amount just have to finish um doing a video we had midterms for some of my classes last week and then some of them are due this week so i just have to finish my midterm for um one of my classes and i will be done once i'm done i will be back hey guys so you know how i told you guys i was doing homework well, i was and i lost track of time girlfriend gets off work at 10 it's 10 05 and she called me at like 10 02 and was like um hey i just like cut her off and i was like i'm on my way like because I lost track of time when I was editing my video. I'm about two lights away from my girlfriend's job and I literally just threw on a sweater, still in my PJs. Hopefully she'll want to get a Starbucks because I want a Starbucks. It's been eight either so I can feel myself getting hungrier and hungrier. I have like an issue in the mornings with eating. I'm vegan for the most part. I'm like, well I'm not completely vegan. I'm like percent vegetarian because sometimes I'll cheat but for the most part I'm vegan. With being vegan you really have to always be cooking something. It's really hard to be a lazy vegan. Being a lazy vegan is so expensive. Sometimes I just don't be knowing what to cook. I just pulled up to my girlfriend's work. Let's see how her day was going. She doesn't know that I'm vlogging today so it'll be a shock to her. Oh she's like sitting there all alone. I feel bad. Sorry, babe. What, baby? What happened? I got um, sidetracked doing homework and I didn't realize how much time had went by. That's okay. It doesn't. It was just... Oh, I'm vlogging, by the way. What are you That's vlogging why. for? Just like a day in my life or whatever. Oh, a day in Savannah's life. Yep, she comes and picks me up from work. Do you want Starbucks? Um, did you want to already go or what? Yeah, I want Starbucks. Yeah, we can go then. What homework were you doing? You got the heater on? Yes, I just turned it off. For Didn't what? What did you need the heater on for the first place, babe? I had the heater on because it was cold. I took a shower. My head's all wet and shit. Sleep. Ay, nunca me... Nunca es eso que te digo. What? Mama says it. I told you, bring me some fucking pants when you pick me up. Well, yeah, but I figured we're gonna go home anyway because I have to change. Are you being a hater? I'm hangry right now, babe. I know, I'm hangry too. You're gonna make me angry, hangry. You're gonna make me hangry, hangry. You had the opportunity to make yourself some food at home. No, I didn't. I told you I was very productive. <laughs> I was very productive. Yeah, I was. The drive through there's a long line. This Starbucks is always hit or miss for us, to be honest. I work at Starbucks and fucking, I just don't understand like why the drinks taste so bad sometimes. Is it your guys' espresso machine? Is it fucking up? 
bro, your shot's not calibrated correctly. Did you kill my shots? Is it all of the above? Because sometimes I'm just like, what the fuck is this shit? And then other times it's hella good. And I'm like, yep, y'all made it correct. Don't worry about it. I guess we'll be back when we get our drinks. Because we got our Starbucks. She got a very, very hibiscus with lemonade. That shit really fire. Good. That shit fire. Mm -hmm. I got a PSL. Remember how I told you I was 5% vegetarian? I cheated today. And I got pumpkin spice. Because it's made with, the syrup is made with milk. I heard in the UK that their pumpkin spice sauce is vegan. So I'm wondering why the, the fucking US is always late to shit. Like, why do we not have a vegan pumpkin spice? I'm going to Jack in the Box because she wants Jack in the Box. And uh, I'll probably find something to eat. Maybe I'll get hash browns or something. We're going to try to catch this one stray cat. Oh, yeah. We were at the park yesterday. I got a little too carried away. He came up to us, right? And he's super skinny. Like, he's like low key starving to death, I feel like. He's like really skinny. Savannah went back to the house and got some tuna, and I stayed there, and I was like trying to get him to come closer. And he finally got closer once we brought out the tuna to him. And I put my hand on his back and I started petting him. And then I grabbed him. I was trying to get him in the crate. Yeah, and when I grabbed him, I freaked him the fuck out. And he fucking hissed at me and turned around and looked like he was gonna scratch the shit I was out of me. Like, you broke his trust. I know, so I let go of him and then he freaking like ran off a little bit, but he stayed in the area where he could see us. Mm -hmm. And we were trying to like call him back. Like I was trying to like talk to him and to let him know, like I'm doing it for your own good, you know? Like I wanna take you back home, feed you. You can meet our other cats. <laughs> and nope, he was pretty pissed off that I did that to him. They did not. What? What? They what? brought back their French toast at Jack in the Box. They did? What? Yes. I used to get this all the time when I was little. I would get this every fucking time I came to Jack in the Box. My mom would order me French toast before school. And they took it off the menu. And their French toast was vegan. And it's back. Okay. You're <laughs> hella funny. Yeah, because I was reading, like, hella people were like, why the fuck did they take the French toast sticks off Jack in the Box? Like, what the fuck? I hope they taste the same. What? Why is it limited to time only? Hi, um, can I have two breakfast jacks, please? Two breakfast jacks, okay, anything else? And, um, can I also do an order of the French toast sticks? Two breakfast jacks and an order of French toast sticks, anything else? Um, yes. Can I also do two hash browns? Do I have you at a correct? Yes. Thank you. You guys, I see crows everywhere and look. I think crows or ravens, whatever you want to call them, are my spirit animals. Literally see them all the time. Like they're literally in the driveway, like not letting me drive. I can not even fucking see. And there's one that just flew down right here. Oh, there he is. There's like one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two. Wait. Look. It's hard to see, but I don't want to run them over. No, yeah, we were sitting at the park yesterday and a bunch of them just came and flew and sat right next to us. Savannah's little buddy, like he's watching us. Hello. They're my spirit animal. Cause you know what's weird? Vin's laid a nest in my tree in the front of the yard and the baby ended up falling out of the nest yeah in front of the house and the one of the the baby that was in the nest ended up falling out of the tree and so my mom went out there and she like started feeding the fucking raven and like trying to nurse it back to life and shit and she ended up having to mom was like feeding it for a while and then I was like, mom, I, like it's not getting better because his leg was really hurt. Like he couldn't hop on it at all, but he was starting to walk and like fly a little bit. I ended up taking it to like a wildlife place where they take care of wild animals, I guess. They said that we're not allowed to keep the raven. So they ended up putting him to sleep because they said that he just was sick. Cause he also, I think had a cyst on his, like somewhere on his feathers. And they said it was really common in ravens but it was just really sad. But anyways, that just leads me to believe as well that ravens are my spirit animal because they're literally always around me. Like I'll be driving and they just like cross in front of me, sit in front of me. Like I feel like they're always watching me. I hope French toast sticks taste how I remember. I'll 
I'll probably have to share some with my mom too because she'll be like, what, they have them back? You wanna eat at the park or what you wanna eat? We can eat at the park and wait for um, Kitty Kitty to show up. So me and Bay came to the park. It's a pretty day outside today. It's a pretty day to be in nature. Can y'all hear the birds in the back? So calming, huh? We just listened to them. Took a moment of silence for nature. Perfect timing. <laughs> I'm just about to eat and, you know, see if this cat comes. All right, y'all. So I just finished my homework. Um, I uploaded my video. It's all done. I did it over midterms. Thank God. Girlfriend left to go hang out with her friend for a little bit. So I'm just going to do my makeup and make some TikToks and do all that kind of stuff. And just create some content for you guys to watch. Um, because usually during the weeks, I'm very, very busy with homework. So the weekends is when I try to like have everything finished so that I can um, be more active. And I feel like I've been trying to do a lot better. I'm trying to get back on my grind create some content for you guys i hope you guys appreciate it because i really love um engaging with you guys talking to you um just seeing you guys watch my videos and whatnot so um i just want to thank you guys for all your love and support for those of you who do watch my videos it means the world to me genuinely i'm so appreciative for you guys just get ready um it's a little bit hot i'm like starting to sweat i don't know if it's just because i've been moving around or if it's actually hot outside 93 degrees outside so yeah it is pretty hot outside um it is 2 11 so i'm barely gonna start getting ready right now but i got a lot of stuff done today so i feel happy about that all right y'all so i'm about to do my makeup but first i forgot that i haven't ate in a few well i ate like jack in the box like an hour or two ago but it wasn't much i just had like a little like three pieces of french toast sticks and two hash browns and i like to eat a lot like i have a big appetite so that didn't really fill me up and right now i was feeling hungry so i decided to cook up a little something you can see me all hunchback in the mirror over there lol i decided to cook up a little something real quick so that um i don't get grumpy i don't get tired and I can keep pushing through the day today. All I made was just two um, Beyond sausages. If you haven't tried the Beyond meatless um, sausages, the breakfast ones, these are the spicy ones. They have like original and spicy. Um, they are so bomb. Like everyone who's tried them in my house, mind you, no one else is vegan other than me or plant-based, whatever, has said that they're really good. And then I also made a quesadilla with the Daya cheese. It's the Mexican blend. Look at that. It's fire. I'm just gonna eat that real quick before I do my makeup so that I have energy. I forgot to mention, I also rinsed off an apple for me to eat. I love apples. I love fruit. I feel like this is what life's about. So good. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, sit on my face, I attack that Little bitch, shut the fuck up Tell your best friend, shut the fuck up My little baby, low-key, a flexor Need a pick, you better die, ho Young nigga sneaking in through your side Don't have to let it fly, nigga, come Ooh, but she still ain't a shake, ho Get going deep and get guts, baby, take those It's a whole lot of money, what you hate, ho Use your stuff for these bread like some mayo Know your last nigga was a square Every time I walk up in the clinic, stop the stare. That bank ooze doesn't look like I care. That's big for this dead hoe tweaking. Fuck, I look like going broke, bitch, 
I'm the boy. Who the fuck is you, nigga? SOB that gang. Y'all ain't fucking with my crew, nigga. Day one's on. I run the world like a pill. With my trap money, oh, oh, yeah. oh, they don't want a bank, bitch. I'm riding for my niggas, and I'm bustin' on a gang. Yo, yo nigga fresh off the boat Ooh, what's your main bitch on the coast? That on Danny G driver I fuck a nigga bitch on the Sunday Little nigga want smoke, then it's gonna play Oh bitch, yeah we finna get on that That bitch do be high, ain't going slow motion That blower, you know it got blowback We got guns like it's Baghdad Hey, hey Hi bitch She ain't got FaceTime, I'ma Skype it Come straight out of style like an E-Tech Hey, my bigger ring three. Hi, bitch. Daddy, daddy, don't try it. Ball out the mind like I'm Kobe. Just buy shit. Sick of these bitches. They like who? You mad, ho? Why you so mad? all right y'all so this is my makeup this is how it turned out i just did some liner some basic eyeshadow you know bronze my face a little bit and put some lipstick on pretty much and now i'm just gonna take my hair down and um do my baby hairs i showed how i do my baby hairs on another video so i'm gonna speed through this but i'll still show you like the process do it in a very simple way it's nothing complicated i basically just comb them and like swoop them i'm sure everyone knows how to do baby hairs by now but i still get a lot of questions on like in person about how i do them i use this murray's um gel lock lock i think it's called i just use this gel because i bought it and i want to use all of it but would i repurchase this one probably not I'd probably get one that has a stronger hold. my hair down um, let me just fix my part really quick but I got to this is the finished makeup look and hair I'm going to go film my other video and then I will check back in with you guys when I'm done bye well, guys so my girlfriend came home look what she bought chocolates from C's I've been wanting chocolates from C's for a while now <laughs> and she came home with them Feel so lucky. Thank you, babe. They're a Halloween packaging, at least. How was your adventure without me? It was fun. Oh, it was fun? We just caught up. That's good. Um, like I said, you want to go to that um, haunted house tonight? You want me to go? I'm like antisocial with people that I don't really like trust or fucking know very well. Brooks man is trust. It's almost damn near impossible to get it back. Damn. I got it back, but no, no bullshit. Like she was not having that shit, and that's the reason I lost it for a minute. But yeah, because we were together when we. Um, we're in high school but we were like we'd never met in person and then yeah. we broke up I had, hair. had 
different relationships and then we came back to each other and now we're Better basically married <laughs> yeah well we had a couple life lessons to learn to be honest i got her this ring blingy huh i see Ooh, she got me this one this is my birthstone and she got me this necklace too for my graduation oh let me show you guys my diploma <laughs> forgot about that so um i got my associate's degree and um <laughs> they spelled my middle name wrong oh here God. i'm gonna cover my last name but i'm sure if you guys dig too deep into my shit you, you'll be able to find my last name but they put maria as my middle name and my middle name is marie <laughs> so i have to like have them go and Send fix it mm-hmm I was like, well, I mean, I guess in Spanish, my middle name is Maria, but my like official name on my birth certificate is Marie. She was being a fucking brat. Why? Cause she's always trying to sneak out. Yeah, she is home. So, but she Cats are bad. Been acting bad. She has been. Why? Penelope's been behaving really well. But they go back and forth with like, who's before. being bad and who's not. Mm -hmm. I finished filming my other videos. I actually had to let my camera charge for a little yeah. bit. I mean, my battery charged she's until- She's in a bad mood. Shush your mouth. She's angry right now, but it's okay. You need to behave. I swear, cats have mood swings just like. They don't joke. When you want their attention, they don't give it to you. They're like. And when you don't <laughs> want their attention, or like. They'll be like, meow, meow. I know. They're so like independent that they just don't care how you feel. They want what they want and. They don't have to give you shit in return, basically. Oh, period. <laughs> period. When she gets mad at you, she'll like- She'll piss on your she'll shit. She'll piss on your shit. Like, she'll tell you she's mad. I got this from me the other day. And the cats are scared of it. They look at it and they're like, and they run away. No one can say that I don't love my girl. Why? Because of the fuck? No one can say that shit. Because they just can't. No one can say I don't love you either, the fuck? I know. Oh yeah, if Khalifa's mad, she'll pee on your shit like she, Or she'll shit. Yeah, she'll sh she shit on our bed. We woke up to shit like on the bed. Like and I was like, are you fucking like we was like during wake up the with, worst like, time? Horrible. It smelled so bad. We Remember? weren't sleeping, huh? No, we weren't. She's probably done it more than once that I'm confusing the different times. We weren't sleeping. We were just enjoying each other's time and present. All of a sudden we smell poop and we're like, what the fuck? Where is that coming from? We Dude, thought it was coming I, from I, outside. Okay, I grew up in a household where it was all dogs, so I'm used to smelling dog shit. She's not used to cat. She's getting used to them though. She likes cat them. shit smells nasty and <laughs> putrid. Like it's been rotting in their stomach for like forever. I will say cat and dog piss and poop smells completely different. Cat piss is spicy. Yeah. That like it hits you in the throat. Nostrils. Yeah. Gleeful will shit on your stuff. Dude, Penelope, oh my god, this bitch. But she's more I would say she's more well behaved, but she's sneaky. Like she'll sneak under the house. Cause um in my mom's room, there's like a hole to get under the house. And my mom left it open and Penelope started sneaking like in that hole and she was getting like out outside, like she was out crazy. into the wild. She was constantly doing that. Like she still yeah. has to do it. Today. And then one time we caught her, like we came home, we pulled up and we're like, what cat is that? And I was like, oh, that's Penelope. Oh, Penelope, she licks herself to death because she cleans herself for hours and hours and hours and hours. And she's a calico cat, so her, her hair is pretty long. The hair from them licking their fur like goes in their stomach because it's like on their tongue. And this bitch will fucking throw up hairballs on the fucking bed, underneath the bed, on the floor like all, the all hours of the night and like one of us has to like clean it and it's just nasty out of our dead sleep when we have work the next morning early as fuck and this bitch wants to fucking throw up you just hear her like i'm the type of person where i'll ignore it if it's like in the middle of the night or something and clean it later yeah so that's disgusting i cannot stand wake that shit and fucking have to unless it's like shit or something that's smelling and i can't sleep then I'll clean it up right then and there, but throw up, it's just like, fuck. Like, it's annoying, but I'll leave it there for a little while. No! Anyways, I'm gonna go back to filming my TikToks while my camera battery charges, and I will be with you guys in a little bit. I did a vlog. Oh, there she is, doing it again. <laughs> of her YouTube. What is she doing? The vlog. Oh, no. They're embarrassed. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Stop judging me, Mom. My mom ended up asking me if I could take her to Ross because her eyes have been hurting her so she can't see very well. So I was like, yeah, I'll take you to Ross. And she wanted to go with our cousin, like 
someone in our family. So we went to go pick her up. We went to pick her up. We went to Ross. We didn't find anything, but we were there for a little bit, just looking around. We went to Ulta for like 10 minutes and then they ended up closing, so we left. We ended up dropping her back off at her house and then drove back to my house and they're like on opposite sides of town. So, you know, it took a few hours for me to do that, but now me and Savannah are gonna go to a haunted house and I'm fucking tired and hungry, but you know what? It's a haunted house. It'll, it'll be a good time. You guys can't really see us. I'll just update you guys when we get there. We're at the haunted house. Are you ready, babe? They said it's pretty scary. We'll see how that goes. I don't get scared too easily, so we shall see. I think my nightmares are scarier than this, but who knows? Got out the haunted house. It wasn't as scary as they said it was. You know what I kept telling myself? But ignore them. Ignore them. Ignore them. I was about to run with that damn chainsaw. <laughs> I know. Seeing you run and seeing you panic kind of made me want to panic just a little. <laughs> you know what is weird? When we pulled up and Savannah was about to get out of the car, we heard someone's voice like inside my car, and we looked around and there was no one there. And I was like, you heard that, right? And she was like, yeah, I heard that. I was like, what the fuck? It was creepy as fuck because we both heard it, and it was like. There was no one there. We're not going in because it costs five more dollars. Okay, guys, so I just got home. I'm on my phone right now, so sorry if the quality is a little sucky. I've been using my phone like on and off throughout the day just because I have been forgetting to bring my camera, but um, because I the battery took forever to charge. So I came home, as you saw, we went to the Halloween like maze thing. And it was like hella short, like it was probably like five minutes long. We didn't really have much else to do, like that's the only reason we really went there was to go to the maze. And then we wanted to go like take pictures by the pumpkins, but they were charging us five dollars just to look at some pumpkins. The people we went with said that they wanted to go to the runs and I didn't feel like going because I just have like, I wanted to finish, you know, this video and like a few other things I have to do. Plus I'm like hella tired because um, I've been like doing so much today. I just didn't really feel like going. Savannah ended up going with her friends so I'll just be waiting for her to come home. I don't know what time she'll be home because it usually goes pretty late. Right now I'm trying to debate if I should take off my makeup and like start editing this vlog or if I should make more TikToks. It's a really hard decision right now because I'm tired but I already have like a full face of makeup on so it's like why not make videos when I don't look like trash. Oh, I also ended up getting Panda Express because when we got to the haunted house place, um, her friends weren't there yet and then I was like fuck I just like you know how I told you guys earlier like I'll wait till the last minute to eat well that happened I kind of forget that I'm hungry and then like when I'm really really hungry is when I'm I remember that I'm hungry so it's like I have to have food in like the next like 10 minutes where I feel like I'm gonna pass out so we were waiting for them there and then I was like whoa I'm like hella hungry my girlfriend was like okay well let's go get food since they're not here yet so I was like okay we just went to a Panda Express that was right across um, the street from where we were right when we were pulling out of the parking lot they ended up pulling in so they had to like end up waiting for us for a few minutes and so i just like took a few bites in the car like enough to fill me up a little bit so that my stomach wasn't hurting i didn't end up filming the second video that i wanted to film today so i'll probably end up doing that tomorrow um so i will get back to you when i make a decision of whether i want to make more videos on tiktok or if i'm gonna take my makeup off you guys will see in the next clip though it is the next day. I forgot to film the outro for this vlog. Last night I pretty much, I ended up filming more TikToks because you know how I told you guys I was trying to decide if I should just take my makeup off or if I should film more videos. Well, I decided to film a few more videos. I'll leave my TikTok name like on the screen if you guys would like to go watch them. After I finished filming my TikToks, I basically just washed off my makeup and I like passed out. So I, I didn't even finish eating my Pounded Express, but it's okay because now I have food for today. This is the end of the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like um, daily vlogs or like a day in my life, let me know in the comments down below. But if you guys want more vlogs, then I would be willing to film more of them. So let me know. Have a good day.